Okay, uh, The White Tecumseh by Stanley P. Hershon. This is a 1997 uh, biography of William Tecumseh Sherman. And uh, I'd like to read just a, uh, a little passage uh, that kind of stood out to me in this book. Uh, this is in the Georgia campaign when he's hanging out with uh, Schofield, Thomas, and Howard. It was easy to see. Oh, it says, uh, Thomas, Schofield, and Howard came in and consulted with him. It was easy to see that he held them in all, all he held them all in high, shit. He held them all in high esteem and regard as they did him. They were a fine sight to see, all great soldiers. But Sherman easily dominated them all. His keen intelligence, incisive speech, prompt decision, and determined will readily made him chief everywhere. I'm from Georgia, okay, so Sherman was always portrayed as this caricature, like a monster of war, like a god of war. Um, I think, uh, you know, he, to the South in particular... Uh, he represents uh, a time in the war when the war changed, you know, uh, the beginning of the war, Antietam, these guys are standing up in cornfields, shooting at each other, standing up by the end of the war, everyone's digging, uh, trench works and it got more, uh, uh, I don't know. It, it just, uh, this book showed me the human side of Sherman. He was a family man. He had a lot of kids. Two of his sons died. Uh, one one son, uh, Willie, that really um, that really affected him deeply. His wife was a Catholic and always wanted him to be Catholic. He was not religious at all. He didn't feel it. Um, he had a wicked uh, sense of humor. I think there's a story about him and another general, and they invite Oliver Otis Howard to the conversation well oliver otis howard was a pious christian right uh and he never cussed at all and sherman was goading the other guy to cuss he kept winking at him cuss cuss so the other guy goes damn this and damn that and oliver otis howard gets so flustered and finally walks off and then the other two sherman and the other guy just break break up laughing uh little anecdotes like that are just they're just wonderful he was friends with all those generals he was friends with southern generals uh uh, uh, after the war, uh, Johnston, um, Longstreet, certainly friends with Grant, certainly friends with Thomas. The one thing that I get a little irritated with is the way everyone, especially Grant and Sherman denigrate Thomas. Oh, he's so slow. And but he, Thomas was like a convenient scapegoat for, uh, you have to remember after the war, a lot of these guys were writing memoirs and settling scores. They were maybe jealous of each other because of accolades or fame, uh, promotions, stuff like that. So they, you know, they were, and the Southerners were doing it too. I mean, they were going after Longstreet like crazy because they didn't want to, I don't, I don't know what that was, you know, uh, uh, and Longstreet was a great general, but I mean, they, all these guys had their flaws, okay? Sherman made bad decisions. Uh, Kennesaw Mountain was a disaster. Um, you know, uh, he was a better strategist than a tactician. Uh, it's amazing that he even survived the war. I do not believe Ebenezer Creek, the cutting of the bridges uh, where all the slaves drowned, I don't think that was Sherman's decision. I think that was Jeff C. Davis's decision. Sherman uh, Sherman got the credit for it. Sherman's engineers should get the credit for a lot of those marches through Georgia and the Carolinas. They're the ones that built the bridges. But, of course, Sherman gets the credit. Well, whatever. Uh, and apparently uh, he was not responsible for the debacle at Chickasaw Bayou. But his marches were incredible. I mean, the march uh, to Jackson in the broiling sun with no water, the march to Knoxville in the freezing cold, certainly the marches through Georgia and the Carolinas. I mean, that, those were 
I mean, those are like Alexander the Great marches. Uh, he, um, he read a lot. He loved Sir Walter Scott. He loved Shakespeare, Charles Dickens. I, 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 I like to learn those kind of details like that. Um, the book is heavily researched. Uh, it uses a lot of Sherman's own writings, letters, pronouncements that he made, quotes. Um, he was uh, a man full of contradictions. Uh, he he traveled everywhere. He went all over the place. Florida, Georgia. He was stationed in the South, so he got to see Carolina, uh, North, South Carolina, and Georgia. He, um, you know, he was out west uh, in San Francisco. He worked in law, finance. He worked uh, at a military academy in Louisiana. Uh, he had mental illness on his mother's side, um, and uh, a lot of people in his mother's line ended up in in uh, asylums. Actually, one of his sons, Tom, ended up in an asylum. Uh, you know, I guess they just didn't have medication back then for people who struggle. Uh, but he lived a very long, wonderful life, and got to do a lot of interesting things and he's one of the titanic figures of the civil war so it's good to know about him i really enjoyed the book it took a while to get through it but um and i don't even know if i'm saying the guy's last name right stanley p hershon there's a lot of biographies you can get about sherman some are on the best New York Times bestseller list and la la la. I like this one because it relied heavily on his own writings and it showed him as a as a a real human instead of like a, a caricature of of war, like a comic book figure, like a Scarface or something. That never really uh, sat well, but I understand why he's portrayed that way in Georgia and the Carolinas. Uh, uh, I think we'll never know what happened at Shiloh as far as was the Union Army surprised. The newspapers said that that uh, they were. Uh, I think we're, we're never going to really know the truth about that. Um, bottom line is, uh, you know, on the second day, the, 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 the battle was won by the Union. Uh I um I'm really glad that I read this book and I recommend it to anyone who's interested in the Civil War and in William Tecumseh Sherman. Fine writing. The White Tecumseh by Stanley P. Hershon. Happy reading and thanks for watching. Bye bye.